all right guys shoddy t here um so it's been a couple of days since i've been on the at least recorded something outside of war but um just want to just talk about a couple of things one the paragon offer i see that you can have a chance to a second chance at that 7.4 by instead of spending 10,000 units it's 12,000 so that's a hard pass for me so at this point i'm like okay well I'll just concede the fact I'm not gonna get Paragon in time for these July offers or Cyber Monday. Maybe, maybe Cyber Monday, depend on how much more they decide to give us of this material. Maybe for the Eternity of Pain, it might jumpstart because I'm halfway, more than halfway to another uh, tier three alpha to be able to rank two, rank four, my second six star champ. But then I'll still need a full three um a full three tier two a tier six basic a full three tier two alpha and just there's no game content right now in order to get close to that i'm almost at a fourth tier six basic but still need two more and then as far as tier three alpha like i said i'm almost at my third but i'll still need three more um as far as the karina challenges um i can still do those and get closer of course at these uh side quests which i'm working on today um i'll be able to get nine thousand more tier three alpha and then the karina challenges so i'm gonna try to get one of these done today um maybe the mutant domination but i'll have to wait till, till war starts just to make sure i don't need any of those attackers in war um and then maybe the 6.3 challenge with um, that Medusa boss. But I but I will have to make sure that I have Squirrel Girl ranked up and I don't have the cash, the gold right now to do so. Um, and then these uh, Labyrinth challenges can give me some more tier 6. So, I, there, so there are some tier 3 alpha possibilities here, but it's, it's only enough to probably get like two more. So if I do all of these, I can get real close to ranking up my second uh, champ, uh, my third rank six champ, or rank six, rank four champ. But the purpose of this video opening today, going back to that offer, since that offer of Paragon is not gonna be gained by units, might as well use these units on something else such as five shots at Scorpion. So. So that's a good segue there. So we're just gonna do five. We we may do desperation or celebration station like the old Seton did. But um and then we got a couple of the crystals to open outside of that. But really black cat is the main prize, and obviously if I can get anything else that's pretty good as a six star, that'll be great as well. So uh because like I said, arena is just not my forte, especially the five six star version i could probably grind for the five star version of scorpion but it's too much time man um but anyways so crystal number one let's see what we get here um i do not have any version of black cat so if i get her you'll see that notification turn from a 13 to a 14 up top so so that's just be on the lookout for that if you see that doing this these four remaining crystals so far not yet All right, so this is a very below average start and i agree with legacy they need to definitely upgrade these crystals or i guess whenever they i guess the paragon crystals that they'll have advantage of shouldn't have any three stars in it but really these shouldn't either it's, it's a cavalier crystal yet in order to become cavalier you can't even take four stars to, to act six but yet these crystals give you three stars so it's just kind of a weird paradox there um i guess at one point the man was worried about everyone getting too much shards to get a lot of five star champs but five star champs uh, I mean, or no, I mean, they can still get a lot of job done, but it's all about the six stars and the rank fours now. So might as well upgrade these crystals to be four star at minimum. 
because three stars, I mean, what what does it do to your account? Because at this point, if you're progressed at this high, the three stars, I mean, yeah, you get more four star shards, but what does that really do? You get two blocks of ice. So, I mean, this is this would be something still for someone that's trying to become uncollected, but a throne breaker, these crystals definitely got to be upgraded. Um, the last crystal here looks like we're not gonna get black cat. Let's see if we're gonna get a scorpion uh, Five star man thing All right, so we got a five star out the batch um, Let's open up one more uh, Just out of desperation, but before we do that, let's uh, do this um, our week our, our Traditional hunt for cosmic ghost rider so Let's see if we get that guy. And we get a max six five star crystal. All right. We do have enough shards for a six star champ. So let's see if we can get a six star here. Well, we will get a six star. Let's see if we can get a good six star. <laughs> All right, Nick Fury. I still got that generic awakening gem because I, I might just use it on ghosts because I do have a lot of tech um, signature stones that I've been saving for whenever ghost gets awakened. Just been holding out that I can awaken her naturally without using that generic. But let's see. I mean, it's never, never, it's never a bad thing to get a Corvus, even though he's duped. Uh, yeah, he has that 140 now. And that glaive, that awakening ability, as far as, I mean, rushing down the glaive charges don't really have many fights with the opportunity to have that short and cool down happens. Um, but anyway, we're going to try one more crystal here. We're going to go straight in, see if we can get Black Cat or Scorpion, five-star version or better, or six-star champ or Nexus something. And we get six star Angela Awaken. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a really good one there. So, future six stones might go to her for cosmic purposes because I really don't have anyone else to use that on. Um, we're going to do another one. Just like old C to say, if you get a five or a six star, go for it, another one. Like I said, I don't really care about these units now. I was saving them for that, I guess, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, let's see what we get here. All right, now we can stop. So yeah, we awakened six star Angela. So let's see, and we're gonna look at the difference. So six star Angela awakened, what does that do? So for each buff on Angela, her opponent suffers. So it basically gets rid of auto block. Um, the more buffs you have on her. And also if you have a bleed or poison or whatever, or any type of damage over time debuff, the, the higher your sig, the less percentage. I mean, the, but you'll see. Just for example, let's look at this five star version. That way you guys can kind of like a champion spotlight video on one. So I, this version of Angela is at SIG 200. So SIG 200 is 35%. So basically we have three buffs, three buffs on Angela. You can get those through her natural ability. You only have to use the Odin synergy for each buff. So you get three buffs, you pretty much get rid of, you can't be nullified by a Mystic Champ and you cannot be auto blocked. And that also includes Buffet. So it's great for that. And then also, um, if you get bleed or damage over time, you have three buffs, you take no damage. So so she does need the SIG. So I'm gonna be using my uh, Cosmic SIG stones that I get in the future on her um, and then eventually have her ranked up. She's only ranked one right now because she was kind of worthless to rank up unawakened. But now that she's awakened, I can send her up slowly but surely and go from there. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for today. Uh, like I said, I'm going to 
See if I can get some of these Karina challenges done. I mean, yeah, I don't have the units, but I got a lot of revives and stuff. So why not be a day to be a good day to try to put some of those revives and health potions into use. But like, share, comment below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.